Residential sales comparison and income approaches, page 156. For example, the provisions of a lease specify that the rent for the first year will be $750 per month, or it could be an annual rent amount with annual increases of $50. Thus, the second year rent would be $800 per month. The third year, $850 per month, and so on. Percentage leases. The concept of a percentage lease typically does not lend itself to a residential property. This type of lease is most common to retail less ease and most frequently in high profile retail environments, such as shopping complexes and malls. There could be broad variations in percentage leases, with some percentage leases. Less ease could be paying a base or guaranteed minimum, which is often called a break point rent, plus a percentage of the sales their business has generated, known as overage rent. In other cases, the rent is purely based on a percent of the sales volume. Even though this may seem somewhat precarious as far as the parties of the lease are concerned. Percentage leases can be an advantage to the lessee because the arrangement motivates the lessor to adequately promote and maintain the complex or facility. For example, the Acme department store located in the Valle Green Mall is obligated per its lease terms to pay 3% of the annual sales as rent. Acme generated 10 thousand dollars oh wait ten million dollars in sales during the past year thus the year's rent would be three hundred thousand dollars income concepts and components appraisers must understand several concepts and components before they effectively apply the income approach in an appraisal assignment some of these elements are fundamental to every assignment in which the income approach is applicable, while other elements may be part uh, of a specific technique being applied. Here we will discuss types of income and investment benefits, types of expenses, and the different factors and rates that may be employed in developing the income approach for a particular appraisal assignment. Income versus rent. Depending on the particular income technique the appraiser chooses in the scope of work, distinguishing between the term income and rent may be critical. It is also very important for examination purposes. In some cases, the rent a particular property generates may be its income. In other circumstances, there may be other types of income aside from the rent the property generates for the living unit or units, such as income from parking spaces, garage spaces, storage spaces, vending machines, etc. Leases could be of many different types and structures. The appraiser must be able to recognize the characteristics of a lease in order to adequately analyze it. Page 157. Recognizing the difference between important, as you will learn later when we discuss the development of techniques such as the gross rent multiplier, GRM, and the gross income multiplier, GIM. The GRM technique considers only rent from the living units in its development. While the GIM technique and others we will discuss considers income from all sources. 
strictly speaking, speaking strictly to rent, there are two defined concepts that we will discuss here. Contract rent and market rent. Contract rent. Contract rent is what the tenants are actually paying in rent as stated in the terms of the lease. It is the actual rent that the lessor and the lessee of a particular property have agreed upon. The contract rent or what a particular property is actually generating may or may not reflect what a typical lessor would expect or what a typical lessee would pay. Just as we discussed earlier about buyers and sellers in real estate sale transactions, one of the inefficiencies of the real estate market is that participants are not always well informed, nor do they always act rationally. The same could often be true here as well. There could be differences between the rent and other income a property should command and what it is actually generating. Some landlords never adjust the rent for an income producing property or may opt to apply a rent adjustment only for a new tenant at the time of the initial lease or renewal. Other landlords may be quite knowledgeable of the rental market and maintain their leases with provisions for rent to reflect the current market. This is one of the important analysis that the appraiser must conduct when undertaking a market value assignment with an income property. Determining if the rent being generated actually reflects that which would be typical in that particular marketplace. Therefore, the contract rent while analyzed for its relevance to the market is an important consideration in the income analysis but is not used as a basis for the analysis. The rent and income basis applied in any technique for which the assignment specifies market value would rely on what the typical market participant would do rather than what the parties in a particular agreement are doing. There may be occasions when the contract rent is used in the income analysis. However, the type of value specified in those assignments would not be the common definition of market value, but rather some other type of value, such as a value in use or investment value. Market rent. Market rent, also referred to as economic rent, is what the property could rent for in the open market if currently vacant and end of page.